My name is Sara Gaushka and I'm a visual artist. I'm interested in childhood, family relations and mental health. I'm trying to picture emotions and feelings in my work. My practice was orientated mostly on portraiture. I tried to reflect people's personalities on the photograph. After a while, I've noticed there is a lack of deeper meaning in my projects. Following Rinko Kawajuchi's words, it's not enough that is beautiful. If it doesn't move my heart, it won't move anyone else's heart. I decided to create with more mindfulness by wide research and regular critical review of my ideas and techniques. A good example of very touching and disturbing work is Richard Spillingham project Raise a Laugh. It's interesting that what artists originally meant to use as a source to create paintings became body of work on its own rights. Extremely powerful, unique and innovative at that time. Investigation of Billingham's family, where father is a chronic alcoholic and mother watch him every day with cigarette in her hand, is also very close to my interests area. Using medium widely available and present in every home, photographer created anti-family album by showing everything what is normally covered. Poverty, dependency, violence. Most people link home with safe place filled with love, somewhere we are going back when need comfort. That's how we see it in media and how we show it to others on social media. Home is a symbol of protected space, similar to mother's womb. L. Frank Baum's book, The Fantastic Wizard of Oz, is a perfect example of story about home. Dorothy at first dream about place somewhere over the rainbow, tired of boredom of everyday life on the farm. But as soon as she really is far away, there is nothing she wants more than go back home. This story has many layers and turnovers. In some interpretations, Dorothy represents American people and other characters, some aspects of society and politicians at that time. However, basically it's a story about friendship, inner strength and home. In last sentence of the book, Dorothy says, I'm so glad to be at home again. It doesn't always look like this. There's no perfect home and some are very far from that picture. Using Diane Arbus words, I think all families are creeping away. This photo was taken with my mobile phone during night walk with my dog. Like Billy Gum proved, even with tools widely recognized as not professional, we can create images able to tell the story sometimes even more successfully than highly planned, high-end edited photos. I decided to cool down color temperature to enhance distressing mood on the photograph. The photo is a counterbalance to everything that we associate with the comfort and warmth of family home. Lack of light. Nocturnal photography and moon are often associated with dark powers. This photo is an example of my hunter's approach. I make plans of the project and start to produce images which I review and sometimes decide to change direction if necessary. This particular image wouldn't exist if I wouldn't keep my mind and eyes open. Like Sharkovsky said, luck is attentive photographer best teacher. I'm partly inspired by Gregory Crutzen's still images. I like the way fiction in and reality merge together on his images. And I'm trying to use similar aesthetic to mirror people's inner experiences. Apart from symbolism of home, I based my research on the family theme in visual arts over the years. Both motifs are intertwined, have similar symbols and can be used interchangeably. There's plenty examples of work showing idyllic pictures of happy people gathering together in sunny, relaxed atmosphere. From Renaissance Raphael's paintings through Impressionist Manette's in Family in the Garden until 1950s Coca-Cola adverts and contemporary mass media family persuasive techniques. I started to look for more realistic or even opposite image. I found it in Paula Rego's painting, The Family. 
Unusual Jennison shows father being dressed or undressed by his wife and daughter. It's hard to tell if they are helping him or trying to hurt him. There is also a girl watching the scene from the distance. Nobody on the painting looks relaxed or happy. There is a large amount of tension. John Bing Hall writes in his book Rewriting Family Script Family life is essentially a rehearsal for the next generation. Each generation is another piece in a long chain of life we inherit and pass on to our children. What if we didn't have a chance to participate in rehearsal or things went ho terribly wrong during rehearsal? Last Family is a movie telling the life story of Polish painter Zdzisław Bekszynski and his family. Bekszynski and his wife had a very unusual approach to family life and existence in general. On jest Bekszynski, tak? Ten ma malarz. Niby tak. To, co sobie wyobrażam i co mnie niesłychanie angażuje, dzieje się w jakiejś urojonej meta rzeczywistości. Jestem Zdzisław Bekszyński. To jest moja żona, Zofia Bekszyńska. Tomasz Bekszyński. Tłumacz filmowy i prezenter radiowy. Genialny ojciec i genialny syn. Dzwoni dzwonek do drzwi. Maga, osiemnastoletnia profesor, dusi mnie na rozmaite sposoby, łamiąc mi ręce i nogi. Co chwila doznaję orgazmu. Wreszcie umieram w konwulsjach. Matka się martwi. Już drugi dzień nie przychodzisz na obiad. Jeśli kontakt i współżycie rodzinne ma polegać na tym, że się kopie tam, gdzie człowiek ma najczulsze miejsce. Ty bardzo źle mówisz, synek, wiesz? Ranisz wszystkich? Nie uważam, że samobójstwo to akt odwagi i męstwa. Jeżeli on już jest zdecydował, to czy on... Bardzo cię przepraszam, ale bredzisz. Dobro wygrywa, wszyscy są happy, badają sobie w, w ramiona e, czysta, piękna i, i nie skazi to na miłość. Nigdzie bezpośrednio nie wynika, że rodzina to jest coś innego niż grono ludzi, którzy tak jak się lubią, tak się nie znoszą. A nie będziesz tego wszystkiego opowiadał ludziom. A jak to nie będę opowiadał? Zapiszę wszystko z detalami, żeby nie uronić słówka. Ja nie jestem normalny na oku. Myślę i w ogóle. Skąd przyszło do głowy? Już są i dały na świecie. Skąd, skąd mi przyszło do głowy? Z książek, filmów i piosenek. My recent project is a reflection about creating family relations without role model. Is it possible to build a strong, healthy foundation without mentioned rehearsal? Does the family as a basic social unit fulfill the role assigned to it by society? Maybe we overestimate the value of the family and at the same time diminish the individual. <laughs>